What's up, everybody? It is the AM Icebreaker for Tuesday, April 10th, and I hope everybody's having a good week. Um, it's uh, certainly going to be an interesting week for us here at Facebook. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, a lot of the, the senior management at Facebook this week is going to be testifying uh, before various governing bodies about kind of the recent sort of... I call it a breach of trust because that really was what was what it was on a bunch of different levels. You know, like I said, it wasn't a hack. It wasn't it wasn't Facebook selling data. It wasn't any of that. But it was definitely a breach of trust. So you're gonna see a lot of a lot of gloom and doom headlines about about what's going on at the company. And um, I, again, I would say please be very careful about what you share because after, especially like you guys know the YouTube shooting, it does have ramifications. You know, the more you drive up those negative sentiments, especially under, if it's under, you know, under false pretenses, I mean, you know, we tend to, things tend to get inflated and I mean, it, it has real consequences. So please, please be very careful. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to censor anybody. Just be smart, be intelligent, do your homework. Um, okay. On to lighter stuff. So I, I need to stop talking about that. That bums me out every time I talk about that, you know? Um, but, but I, I mentioned it because like I said, it does kind of tie into today's question and discussion. But uh, another thing to look forward to is, uh, so is, this is Tuesday. I think I'm going to join the, uh, the time-honored social media ritual tradition of Technique Tuesday. You know, I know a lot of folks, a lot of martial artists, a lot of, um, a lot of personal fitness guys do that. And I think it's a great thing to do. Um, leading up to the Viking Ninja Weapons Camp, June 16th, Boise, Idaho. PM me for information. Uh, I want to start putting up Technique videos for folks just because we throw around that term non-traditional a lot. And uh, I, I want people to kind of get an idea of what that looks like. And uh, I, I would say, if you're kind of on the fence about coming, um, come to the workshop anyway. You know, please, please try not to make your decision based on what you see in the videos, uh, unless you just decide you just don't like me, which is which is fine. That's fair. I I, I can handle that. I'll I'll cry a little bit, but God no, it's better. No, that's not good. Uh, all good. But you you get what I'm saying. Um, you know, this is you know the videos are kind of designed to give you an idea of the sort of work we're, we're doing. Maybe you can get started training if you if you know you're coming. And, uh, yeah, and like I so said, we'll talk a little bit about how, uh, we'll deep dive into how this all relates, Viking Ninja weapons training, non-traditional weapons movement. Anyway, so now to today's question and how it, and how it relates to what's going on with Facebook and, and me and movement and all that. So, got an email from uh, our friend Andy, and uh, Andy was at my GDC talk, I guess. Um, I don't, I don't, did we meet Andy? And if you're watching this, let, let me know. Send me a picture, hit me up on Facebook, whatever. And he says... Briefly, I'm not going to read the whole email. I'm just going to read the highlights. Uh, dear Coach, thank you so much for the great talk at GC. I've been doing the, the movement like you suggested every day, and I definitely do feel better. Well, thanks, Andy. That's see, I, I challenge everybody at GDC to do the movements that we, sh that, uh, that we went over. You know, just, just once a day, two to five minutes, you know, every day for a month, see how you feel. And, uh, yeah, apparently uh, Andy's gotten some good. So let's jump down a few lines. So I've been following you and a lot of the account, other accounts you follow on social media, and I really like what I'm seeing from you and groups like the Audit Academy and the FMS Functional Range. Oh, thank you. See, these, this, this is a bunch of like, I, you know, I like to give people resources. This is something I gave folks out at GDC was just a big list of Instagrams to follow. <clears throat> My question to you is this. Uh, you seem to focus mainly on what you say movement and mobility. I'm curious as to why you chose to focus on that as opposed to training with kettlebells, dumbbells, the steel mace, the steel clubs, and other such tools. They look really cool and a lot of fun. Thanks. Hope you're having a great day. Um, yeah, that's a great question, actually. And I get asked that a lot, actually, you know, and because, 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 you know, I, I've, I've told people, you know, I don't, I don't really teach clubs. I don't teach the mace. I don't, I don't teach any of that stuff. Um, I mean, if somebody really wants me to, we can talk about it, but I'll warn you, man, it's going to be expensive because that's not what I do. And uh, if, if you really want it, I, there are other people out there who will charge you much less than me because that's what they do and they they want that business. Um, and, and, I, and I don't mean to sound like a snob. It's just, like I said, it's just, it's just not where I've spent my time. Um, so why did I choose to spend my time in movement and mobility? Well, let's start with the kind of the, the, the work end, the Facebook end that I was talking about. And, and we'll, we'll talk about how this all ties together. One of the reasons um, I got I got some really interesting looks from people when I when I told them I was coming to Facebook. Um, you know, there's there's been some misdirected ill sentiment about Facebook for a while. Um, you know, the whole the whole selling information, which for the record isn't isn't true. Facebook doesn't sell people's data. <clears throat> but um, I was always a fan of Facebook. I was always a fan of, of you know I'm one of those people that social media has always paid really well and I don't mean monetarily I mean although that's happened but social media has always been really good to me and like I say all the time it, it depends on how you use it you 
you know, be smart about how you use social media and like anything, you know, use the tool, use the tool in such a way and the results of that use will manifest themselves. So I've always been a big believer in Facebook just because I like to see the good in things like, you know, we've talked about that this week a lot. And to me, the good I see that Facebook does in connecting people, and I mean really connecting people, you know, and, and you can you can argue about that all you want. I know some people are going to say, well, what about this group? And what about what about the, the Russian, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about that, okay? Like, so so don't ask me. But um, I that's just how I look at things. And so I was already kind of a believer. And then coming to Facebook and seeing how they do what they do really made me even more of a believer. And that's kind of a big tenet of me personally is I really believe that one of the ways, one of the best ways to be happy and successful is to do work you believe in, optionally with the team you trust. Um, and that's definitely, we definitely have that here. Despite, and, and like I said, if you may, you're going to take some slings and arrows, as, as they say. That's fine. If, if you can say to yourself every day, I still believe in what I'm doing, and I know this team has my back if, if you're working with the team, I think you're on a good path. And that's also why I got into movement and mobility. And it's interesting because... From my perspective, the movement and mobility and like like movement has become this really weird word concept. I, I don't want to say community because it's so fragmented. It's almost almost it's almost zealotry at this point. I mean, you have you have people on that they're defining like movement their own ways, and they're all and they're all throwing stones at everybody else about like why their way is better or or why so and so seminar is bullshit or you know or 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 why why you should never deadlift or why why you should just noodle around on the ground and no offense to anybody i mean full disclosure i love powerlifting i love animal flow i love jujitsu and striking but i love capoeira and and you know so <clears throat> to me what i the way i look at movement and mobility that is corrective exercises which is another thing because correctives in pt is also under fire now too so i you know i i just figured I, maybe that's just how i want to live i'm like you know let's just find like the worst of the worst the things that everybody's talking shit about and that's just where i'm going to be because that's that's what i, I don't know I'm, I'm not sure what that says about me as a person point being the reason i do movement and mobility and correctives the way i do them is because i believe that that is the work i absolutely believe in i I think I, I one of my friends has a great term. I'd rather be the kingmaker, not the king. I don't want to be the guy in front of the class showing you, you know, cool kettlebell movements or or or, or mace flows or any of that. I, I want to be the guy that gives you the tools to go out and find that yourself. I want to be the guy that helps you get back on your feet. I want to be the guy that gets you helps you that helps you get out of pain. That helps you kind of get over what you know whatever issues um, you know are, might be kind of impairing your movement to an extent i mean there's some things you, you know movement is movement you know is a very complex thing i mean at some point we get into behavioral stuff and I, i'm not a life coach so i can't help you with that but um but yeah i you know i i i that look on people's face when they realize that all of a sudden they're capable again and they can they can go out and do something maybe now they can go do that thing they wanted to do maybe now they can go on that hike with their friends or maybe now they can go out and play with their kids that that's why i do that stuff you know because <clears throat> i think that's in in all of this like fitness stuff you know i i think i'm less interested in fitness and more just in general health and to me pain-free movement is a huge component of general health and wellness and i believe that's like that's that's the greatest good you can do as a trainer i'm not talking shit about anybody else, you know, everybody, you know, anybody who's helping anybody get off the couch and do something right on. I'm just saying that is my belief and that's why I do what I do. All right. So this has gone on a little, little long. Uh, I'm going to let you guys get back to it, but that's what I got. Thanks a lot. Cheers.